This is Twit. What I feel is so ingenious about this product is that when you're utilizing Minecraft, obviously you're pulling the children you know, in to a learning environment that they already like. So you've eliminated this like, oh, well, now I have to learn this new thing that's super complicated, you know, all these coding blocks or whatever. And then the experience itself replicates uh, certain pieces of the hardware, you know, within the within what you call story mode. Mm -hmm. So, for example, there's a there's a part in Minecraft where these pins right here are represented and you show the colored wires extending off of them. And mm -hmm. the challenge, eventually you figure it out, is to actually in the real world grab those colored wires connected to those pins. And the second you do, you see the energy kind of pulsing in the in the Minecraft um, screen. And you realize that the Minecraft is really walking you through these foundational elements of building a computer. And once you do that, of course, then you touch these contacts together once it's plugged in, and now your character magically moves forward. You just created, uh, through the experience itself, the ability for your character to navigate it. And it's just, it's kind of a weird, mind-twisting thing, because uh, like we were talking about, it, it really... Uh, melds or, or kind of creates a connection between this weird virtual world and the real world in such a unique way. And it's such a great way to learn. You yeah, know? That's, a, that's a beautiful description. <laughs> you know, and part of, yes, the, you know, having a familiar form that kids, you know, we call this sort of the Trojan horse learning, you know, yeah. some, taking something kids are already obsessed with, um, then combining that with the foundational ideas, um, you know, in a 3D world, whether it's, Roblox or Minecraft or Fortnite, mm -hmm. we, mm -hmm. you know, what we wanted to do was align with something that kids would be sort of excited to jump into. And then once they've jumped in, use that time to expose what we think are the foundations. So what you described there was sort of, you know, how do you actually place this wire from point A to point B? Um, a th any 3D environment is a great way to walk kids through, you know, the, what used to be abstract schematics is now a very sort of, you know, video, audio, animated, guided exploration that's mm -hmm. a much easier entry point. Um, and then, you know, later on gets more and more complex. Uh, we love the, the narrative of learn to code, for example, and we see a lot of great coding tools out there. Mm -hmm. um, but what we find is when you start with putting a wall of code in front of a child um, or ask them you know, even when they're sort of these visual drag and drop uh, programming environments, uh, which we do have in our kit, uh, we find that it's hard to connect those with ideas that kids will sort of care about uh, initially. Mm -hmm. And so what we've done with Piper is build in this hands-on experience. So it's sort of engaging from the beginning. It had, had the hook with a 3D world that they'd be familiar with, with a game that they'd be familiar with. And then once you've progressed through the story mode, then we expose, hey, if you want to sort of make that LED blink the way you want, um, here's, here's some coding blocks that you can use to modify. So it's, it's coding, but exposed in a physical way. And we found that that's, that's been a much more successful uh, journey for us to get mm -hmm. kids into the world of um, what I call creative computing, you know, sure. not just computing, but what you can create with it. Yep. Yep. And the the coding blocks, like you like you said, there is Piper code, and then there's the Piper story mode, right? Yeah. So there's a few different elements that you can get into uh, within the computer, depending. Oh, and this is this is a good example of. Uh, well, I think this is the first level, right, where you have to kind of connect. You can kind of see that there's the uh, the energy is trying to to kind of pulse through. Yeah. It kind of gets you familiar with this concept that you know electricity currents travel in a certain way and you have to kind of build a conduit in order for it to pass through entirely and you know as you learn these concepts you go into another level you, you know you add the right thing and boom great you've passed the level and, and piper walks you through and then at some point you get to the point to where you're creating these in the physical realm and not just the the virtual realm i just i lo I, I love it and we, we're having a blast with it